Hello dear students and welcome to a new week. In this video, I'm going to give you a summary of week 6 and 7 and the lessons that we are going to cover through these two weeks. We are going to learn about how to find the area and parameter of triangles and quadrilaterals. Happy new week! I hope you have a great week ahead. We are going to learn about area of triangles. The area of a triangle is defined as the total region that is enclosed by three sides of any particular triangle. Basically, it is equal to half of the base times height. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the area of triangles using the formula area equals half times base times height. This is our key concept. As you see, this is a triangle. This is the base, which is at the bottom, and this is the height that goes up. And we are going to use the formula area equals half times base times the height. And this is an example. As you see, we multiply the half by the 10 and by the 7 to get the answer, which is 35. We will learn also about area of square. A square is a 2D figure in which all the sides are, e are of equal measure. Since all the sides are equal, the area would be length times width, which is equal to side times side. The area of a square is side squared. The objective of our lesson, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the area of a square using the formula area equals side squared. A represents the side. This is our key concept. As you see, this is a square and it has four sides that are equal to each other. I'm going to represent each side by the uh, variable A. And to find the area, I'm going to multiply base by height, uh, which is A times A. And like I say, A squared using the powers of, uh, powers of 10. We will learn about area of rectangle. Area of rectangle is the region occupied by a rectangle within its four sides or boundaries. The area of rectangle de de depends on its sides. Basically, the formula for area is equal to the product of length and width of the rectangle. So by multiplying the length by the width, you will get the area of that rectangle. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the area of rectangle using the formula A equals W times L. L represents length and W stands for width. And this is an example, as you see. This is the length, the long side, and this is the width, the shorter side. If you multiply them by each other, you'll be able to find the area, which is the space inside the shape. We will learn also about area of parallelograms. The area of a parallelogram is given by the formula area equals base times height. B is the length of one base and H refers to the height. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the area of parallelograms using the formula area equals base times height. B is for the base, H is for the height. This is the key concept. This is an example. As you see, this is a parallelogram that have two sides are that uh, two two pair of parallel sides, as we said before. So, uh, the, if you want to find the area of the parallelogram, just multiply the base by the height. Also, we will learn about how to find the parameter of two D shapes. The parameter of a two D shape is the total distance around and outside of the shape. So the area is the inside, and outside is that is the parameter. The area of a 2D shape is the space inside the shape, math, geometry, and measure. The parameter is the total distance around the outside of a 2D shape. You calculate the parameter of 2D shape by adding together all the lengths of the shapes of the shape. Have a lovely week. 